Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to BTS Iconic Fashion Moments. Let me apologize now for the fact that there has been a three plus month break. Since the last episode in this series, I was away, I was traveling, I was moving, end of your show season happened. Yeah. But now we're back with Jin's episode. When I initially reviewed Jin's style back in those BTS airport fashion videos that really blew my channel up, his style is very simple, chic, sophisticated. The pieces are true luxury designer pieces. He is a big fan of Tom Brown, but his style itself is quite simple. But the pieces, the pieces are bougie. <laughs> the pieces are expensive. What I think is interesting when it comes to Jin's style is that I feel like there are two complete different ends of the spectrum. We have the less extreme end, which seems to be his everyday style, airport fashion, some of his stage looks are a bit more simplistic than the other members. And then we have the other end of the spectrum where we get concert looks, where he's a brand ambassador for Louis Vuitton. It's more a fashion-led extreme look direction. So this 15 looks that I have ranked ever so painfully, as always, is a combination of these two. If you are a regular, you know what's up with this series, and thank you for being patient with me, but if you are new, let me explain. I've got 15 looks here, and I've ranked them in order of what I think are the most iconic, so we're going to be starting at 15, counting down to my most iconic Jin fashion moment, and if you haven't seen this series before, I've linked the playlist in the description box, so you can go and binge the other members' episodes that are live after Jin's. Anyway, let's jump in to the 15th spot. In my 15th spot, we have the Airplane Part 2 Jacket Shoe and, first of all, Blonde Jin. Blonde Jin is always a moment. He looks so good blonde and just every time his hair's dyed light, I'm like, ooh. What I love about this look is the earthy tones and the print clash. I feel like when it comes to his own personal style, you don't really see a lot of print clashes. It is more plain items or a very simple stripe or pattern. Here we're getting the paisley long sleeve shirt that's been worn over the top of that navy blue floral scarf and these two prints really clash especially when you look at the colour palette as well. The colour palette is these true earthy tones. The brown pant, the khaki low scoop vest, and then the khaki tying into the paisley prints, even the navy clashing in print, and also kind of clashing in colour. The styling as well also leans into this more relaxed bohemian type of vibe. He's got the bead necklace, obviously around the neck, and then he's got similar bracelets on the wrist, a few rings, and then that simple black sandal. So all of this comes together and gives this very summery, relaxed, bohemian vibe, even though his hair's dark, do you know what I mean? It's very relaxed and I love this look for him. In 14th place, we have Jin attending the Gaon Chart Red Carpet. This was on the 17th of February, 2016. I just love the complete contrast between 15th place and 14th place, the relaxed bohemian vacation vibe to this very tailored, slick red carpet moment. He looks so handsome in the glasses. I mean, you know, Mr. Worldwide Handsome, kind of obvious there. I do love how this look comes together. It's very simple, but incredibly chic. The same with the accessories. Finishing this look off with the glasses pulls everything together. This is very classic men's event wear. This is double-breasted six-button suit. We can see it's got the classic button placement where you have the four in the square formation and then the two coming diagonally out. The shawl lapel as well is a nice touch. I feel like when you typically see this cut of suit, it has a peak lapel, so a shawl just gives it more of an event wear evening touch. Then styled with the black roll neck sweater, the black shoe. The glasses are just the perfect finishing touch. It really leans into the cute, handsome face. Mr. Worldwide Handsome, you know.
In 13th place, we have Jin's look from the Dimple Performance from the Love Yourself World Tour. I believe this is from the Soul Show in 2019. I'll admit now, I hadn't heard this song before and it's just been on repeat for days. I'm fucking obsessed with this song. I love this look as well. I believe this type of print where it's on a very small scale, it's called a ditzy print. <laughs> a what? A ditzy print. I'm thinking back to my buying production days in fashion. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. You can see on the shirt that we're getting these musical notes and I love that because it obviously ties in to the fact that we're on stage, we're singing, they're musicians. I think it's just a really cute tie-in. And when I think back to 2019, these cut of shirts were very, very popular in menswear. These very light fabric printed shirts, the Cuban collar, collar and revere, whatever you want to call it. Very popular in short sleeve styles, very popular in long sleeve styles that we're getting here. And this is what I mentioned earlier about having stage looks that are more simplistic and tied into his own personal style. You could see him wearing this in other occasions in his life styled with the black slim cut jean, the simple black belt that's very, very thin, and then the purple hair, which I believe he dyed himself. <laughs> so good. He looks fucking fantastic with this hair colour. Obsessed with the song, obsessed with this look. Dimple Ditsy Print. It has a ring to it, right? <laughs> Spot 12 belongs to the 2020 winter package, which was shot in Helsinki. And straight away from this image, it definitely has that cool, like, Scandi style kind of vibe. And I also feel like this is very gin. The very muted, natural colour palette. The whites, the browns, that very minky, taupey grey. There's like a warmth to this colour palette, even though it's incredibly neutral. And then styling it with the sweater underneath, you can see that it's got that very thick rib around the neck and around the cuffs and then the shoe as well, tying in to the warm browns in the coat. The white trouser, that's more of a straight cut. There's a very relaxed, casual, chic vibe to this outfit and I think you could definitely see him wearing this like through the airport. It really makes me think of one of the airport looks that I initially reviewed, which was when he was wearing that amazing brown shirling coat that was like to the floor. It was stunning. It gives me that kind of essence, but in a more casual chic way. Eleventh place, you know there's going to be some Tom Brown moments in here with Jin and this is the Tom Brown world jumper that he wore in Run BTS and also at the airport. This is such a casual piece but it's bougie as fuck. Look at the shape of this piece of knit, the crew neck. It's just got this beautiful oversized slouchy cut. It looks like the back comes down slightly longer than the front. And then we're getting the classic four stripes on the left arm, which is synonymous with Tom Brown. I believe there was beef between Tom Brown and Adidas over this stripe. So that's like how much of a part of Tom Brown's brand this is. Like imagine having a lawsuit with someone over stripes white stripes. Personally, the way Jin has styled this jumper going through the airport is my favourite. The Balenciaga baseball cap, you know, classic airport incognito mode. He's then got the black jean, so it balances out with the hat. And then it's been finished off with the white sneaker, which ties into the white of the jumper. It looks like a pair of off-white sneakers because we can see that orange tag. And in this time period, those off-white sneakers, I just remember everyone being so fucking obsessed with them, so a little nostalgia. Since we're on the subject of Jin and Tom Brown, I just want to throw in some of the other moments that he's worn at Tom Brown, because when I say he's a big fan of this brand, it's a bougie as fuck brand, it is expensive. This look here, going through the airport, very, very similar actually to the look that we just spoke about, the black baseball cap, the white Tom Brown shirt with the whale embroidery on the chest, the black trousers, the Tom Brown leather briefcase, 
the Tom Brown shoe. We're then getting another very gin look, classic Tom Brown look as well. I remember reviewing this. He is wearing a Nubuck overcoat, which is almost $7,000. Nubuck is like a type of suede that I believe is slightly, it's either softer in texture or it's more, what's the word? Durable. But we're then getting the Tom Brown bag, the Tom Brown shoe. We're seeing a theme, a theme. In 10th place, we have this outfit here from Weverse magazine, and this came out in June of 2022. And like I said on the intro, we have the spectrum of more simple looks and then to more stylized fashion looks. And I feel like that's what we're getting here. We're getting to see more print. We're getting to see more skin with that low cut shirt, the pop of color. And I feel like that's not something you typically see in Jin's style. The print of the bomber jacket is very beautiful. It's very light and it lets a lot of the white in the bomber jacket come through. It kind of reminds me of Japanese tattoos. There's something very illustrative, something very freehand and light about the style of the print. And I like the fact that you can see the print is coming through into the rib of the collar and the cuffs with that classic varsity bomber jacket stripe going through it. It's bringing lots of elements together, but it's incredibly subtle. We can see the print is used on the trouser in a very similar fashion, but this is more of a placement print as we're getting it on the left leg around the knee and then on the right leg around the hem of the trouser. So I like how we're getting different variations of the print, different uses, but it all ties together so beautifully. And then the pop of red in that silk satin shirt that's been buttoned very low. We're getting the flesh, which helps break up the print, the necklaces, the black and white loafer. This is definitely a more stylish gin look and he just pulls it off so beautifully. Ninth place, it has to go to the Me, Myself and Gin Sea of Gin Island pirate look. Did you ever see a pirate look so fine? What I really like about this outfit is that it leans into elements that are very true to a piratey look. We're getting the loose white shirt, we're getting the loose black trousers, the boots, the wrap around the head, the belt at the waist, but by Pairing it back into these black and white pieces, it gives it more of a chic, sleek fashion finish than leaning costumey. Straight away, you see it's a pirate, obviously. We've got the sea behind us, the sunset. We're getting the layered necklaces, this oversized collar, the waistcoat, how it's then been snatched ever so gently at the waist with the belt, the boots. It screams pirate, but not in like, a cheap costume way. This is expensive. This is fashionable. This is so beautifully done. Eighth place, continuing with the more stylized looks. We can see a theme with my rankings coming through here. This is from Army Zip, the Little Prince photo shoot. And these pictures straight away are giving this Prince royal vibe the all white outfit, the tailoring, the brooches, the silver jewelry, even the setting has got this very kind of like soft, gentle, almost ethereal vibe to it. So you're definitely getting this idea of royalty. The suit has this beautiful texture to it, which really plays nicely into the high neck shirt, the brooch, the silver jewelry, and then the classic menswear cut, double-breasted six button, the peak lapel. The only thing I find bizarre with this suit is how the top half looks so expensive. And then the bottom half, you can see that there is a slight sheerness to these trousers. And I know that's hard when it comes to a white trouser, but line them. If it is such a luxurious, expensive tailored moment, you would put like a half lining in or something like that, just so, you know, you're not seeing the pocket bags 
through the trouser. That kind of spoils it for me. That's just me being picky as fuck. I like how it's then been finished with the white boot, the black sole. It kind of grounds the look, you know? So love the overall vibe, but I'm just like, come on now with the trousers. In seventh, we have the Proof Album Jacket Photo Shoot. I love this all black moment on Jin. It looks so tough. We're getting this like matrix kind of vibe. The snatched waist, the high neck, the gold chains. It's something completely different that we've seen so far in these rankings. Looking back through our previous looks, they've all been quite light in color. Whereas this is the first all black look. And you guys know me, I love an all black look. This is a great way to do all black because you're getting the different textures, the matte textures in the base layers, and then the sheen from the leather, how it's snatched at the waist, possibly Bottega, judging from that triangular buckle on the coat. In sixth, we have Jin's stage look for Astronaut, where he performed with Coldplay in Argentina. This has a very almost like mod vibe to me, like a modern mod vibe. The Harrington jacket with the tartan peeking out, the badges. And for me, I love the print clash between the tartan and then the argyle in the knitwear. This v-neck, presumably sweater vest with the white shirt, the black tie. I love this combination. The greys in the argyle, that diamond print with the red of the tartan. It has this beautiful contrast. And then how it's been finished with the jean, quite a slim cut, the big turn up, the chain on the belt, the white socks, the loafers. There's something modish about this look in combination with the long hair. Like it's, it's a vibe. And again, we've not seen anything like this previously in this video. So it stood out. Fifth place, Dionysus at the MMA 2019. This is an Alexander McQueen suit. I fucking love it. The black jacket, the beautiful embroidery that looks like lace. And then we're getting the white shirts that are coming up, high neck, the ruffles. It plays into this like vampiric kind of vibe. I believe I spoke about this as well in V's episode of this series. If you've not seen that, the playlist is down there in the description box to check out after this video. I'm just obsessed with this vibe. It has a darkness to it, but also I can appreciate the beautiful tailoring as well as the sexiness. I think the difference between Jin's look for this performance and his look for this performance is that this is more simplistic in comparison. And I think that plays in nicely with his style because it is more simple. Whereas, you know, V, that was like full force going in for this vampiric kind of vibe and it's worked beautifully. We're getting levels in the stage looks. In fourth place, we have Pied Piper. I don't even know how many of these videos now I've included Pied Piper in for each member. If you wanna, you know, figure that one out. The playlist in the description box. This is from a fan meet in Japan in 2019 and I think just it gets me because of the colours, the different uses of metallic. I believe in previous members they had a lot of embellishment and stonework in their shirts. Jin's is more simple but it's still very effective. We're getting the silver metallic necklace, we're getting the brooches on the left hand side of his the right hand side of his chest, oh my god, and then the silver metallic belt, which pulls everything together. For me though, it's the cut of the shirt and how you get the contrast between this orange like galaxy print moment and then the very soft like cornflower blue. What I like about the shirt as well is that you can see that the shirt is tucked in and then over top is a panel of that print that comes down and sits 
over the top. And I think that's very smart because if you style a shirt with one panel tucked out, one panel tucked in, you know, if you're like moving around, you're gonna get lots of flashes of like your midriff and stuff. So this is like the safe way of doing it. And it gives a beautiful level and step to the hem of the shirt. Simple styling, black jean, black trainer. It lets the shirt do all of the work. Coming into our top three and in third place, we have the Blood, Sweat and Tears era. And I have two specific looks from this era. We first have this promotion look, the black studded jacket, how it's giving us this Western kind of vibe. I think it's so beautiful. We're getting that Western shape through the top of the embellishment and then how it cascades down into these different shapes, the border around the collar along the placket of the jacket. I think it's really smart then to balance that out with the plain black jean and then the white shirt underneath the spread collar and then how they've put the buckle underneath the collar. I think it looks so beautiful. It's got an edge to it, a darkness to it. And with this like purpley pinky hair color, like it's such a beautiful contrast. My other look, if you guys are an OG viewer, if you saw my first ever BTS reaction, which was to Blood, Sweat and Tears, Jin was my bias after that reaction, purely because of his outfit here, this white shirt. This is such an iconic Jin fashion moment for me because it was my first reaction to BTS, like kind of how everything got started. Like I was so obsessed with this. The white shirt, the lace bib, the red piping around the edge, down the placket, you're getting the red border on the cuffs and then this incredible extreme red collar, point collar, red embellished, the border in white. So I like how they've inverted it and how it's such a strong contrast from the white. It's such a beautiful look and again, it contrasts against that hair color beautifully. In second place, we have Jin's look from his epiphany stage from the 26th of August, 2018. And this is from the, I believe, Love Yourself, Speak Yourself tour. This stage look, this stage look. I feel like we've really, you know, traveled from this end of the spectrum up to this more extreme fashion stylized end. The pinstripe jacket with the thrill going down the collar, down to the quarters, this slightly cropped silhouette. And then the flowers in the mixtures of the greens, the blues, the whites that have been appliqued and cascade from the shoulders down to the arms. And you can see how the scale of these appliqued flowers changes and it really adds dimension to this jacket being larger at the top and then cascading down into these smaller pieces. It just gives such a beautiful line to the jacket. Your eyes follow the scale change and then the pinstripe as well brings your eye down. I like how it's been styled as well, the plain black trouser. So all of the attention goes to the jacket. And then we've got the white shirt with the flowers on the border on the collar, tying everything together. This look is just such a stand out, it's incredible, it's soft, it's beautiful, but it has structure and it's tailored. And you know, tailoring to me is like my favorite category of clothing. In my first place, we have Jin's look from the Louis Vuitton Fall 2021 men's fashion show. I was obsessed with this look. I remember doing my reaction to this show. It was such a fucking moment to see BTS walking in a fashion show. I love the colors of this look. I love the print of this look. He looks so fine, highlighting those incredible broad shoulders. We're getting an incredible tailored moment. We're getting the shirt with the tie in that matching white and green stripe. I love how they match. It keeps it tonal, but the use of the stripe keeps it interesting. We're then getting the waistcoat, which has the break that's very high, just under the tie. We can assume that there's a suit jacket under here as well. 
but this statement red and black check coat. I'm not sure that this is a window pane check. It kind of has the essence of it, but the scale of the check's been blown up, especially when you see the back and you can see that there is a big square. So again, it really highlights the broad shoulders. Even the cut of the shoulders of this jacket is very strong and structured. And then for me, finishing it off with that bold green Louis Vuitton bag with the white detailing, the white strap, it completely contrasts against the red and black jacket and stands out. I think this is such an incredible look. He looks unreal. He looked unreal in the show. And again, how it contrasts against that light hair color. Favorite, favorite look. I have definitely taken you on a journey from simple to stylized with this video. And I'm always gonna love these stylized looks for Jin, Mr. Worldwide Handsome. He always pulls them off. And I do like his simple style, but you know, when he is styled, that is where it's at for me. Let me know what you think of my ranking in the comments and also let me know what your top Jin iconic fashion moment is. If you want to check out the previous episode of BTS Iconic Fashion Moments, which was all about my bias Jimin, you can click just here. But thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are the best. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.